see, it's funny how one night can change one's life. For better or for worse, it could go left or right. But all right, the time can leave you worse than imagined. Put you in a place so bad you can't believe what just happened. How could I be so stupid? And why did we get so intimate? But it's like my mental melted that night like the wings of the Icarus was thinking ridiculous. The thoughts of my genitals were thinking of hitting this. So I did. I let myself go. I quick thought about my wife. Nah, no, she will never know. It's a one night stand. Never to be mentioned. And driven by my drink, my brain was not my engine. See, she said she was on the pill and that a glove would kill the thrill of satisfaction. I guess she didn't lie. Because nine months down the line, she's not lying in the hospital bed crying over pain and contractions, no. Instead of her, she's on a deathbed, struggling to accept. The time has taken its toll. So I visited her to find out what's making her weak. I went over. I leant close. Because she could hardly speak. She said, Ryan, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But last year I proved positive for H I B H I V. I never knew three letters could mean so much to me. They seem so different, so distant from London. See, I found it hard to believe a disease proceed from the kid that I seen on comment relief to the girl in my mess that I woke up to see. Stunned with disbelief. I couldn't even kiss my teeth. Trying to fathom what this means, did she put something in my jeans? Till my jeans vibrated. The text I received read, Baby, come home. I think we need to speak. The plot thickened. I left the room without a word. Trying not to think about the things that I just heard, but what was heavy on my mind, I made it so much worse. I only did it once. She was my last and my first. And I have to face up to a wife of whom loves me. Look it in the eye and tell the truth about her husband. I arrive at the door, she rises up to hug me and says, Okay, sit down, I need to tell you something. Naturally, I can't help but avoid her eyes. She says, what I'm about to tell you is going to make you cry. It's new so big, it's going to change our lives. And I've taken five tests, so I know it's not a lie. Ryan, I'm positive. It's like day, ja, fu. My heart sank and my face turned blue. I couldn't take the burn, not to state the truth. I said, this is my fault, baby. I cheated on you. But hold on a minute, just hear me out. The time we went away almost a year ago now. My boys took me out and got me drunk as hell. I left with that girl from Stratton Vell, but she came onto me. I couldn't resist. She said, stop right there. Why are you telling me this? I just told you that I'm pregnant. How is this relative? Then I clocked what she meant when she said she went negative. And she clocked what I meant and she started panicking. I didn't know what to do. I froze up like a mannequin. She slapped me and screamed and said, do you mean to tell me that I carry a disease on which the doctors can't help me? And the baby in my belly could be far from healthy. Because if I've got this right, then Ryan, you just killed me. How could you be so selfish? And I could hear the pain in her voice. I said, I didn't know. She said, that is not the point. Two months pregnant, and I refuse to abort. So for your own child's sake, you better pray they find a cure. God, the truth is, stats are rising. HIV is getting caught. More people are dying. There is no vaccination. If people think they're immune, please stop kidding yourself, because this could be you. And it could happen to anyone. Not just villagers. To so be safe, be responsible, and by God, I praise the vigilant.